Lights, camera, action. We'll take off the lights and the camera, and you got the chapter. We're going to be talking about actions in this chapter. I absolutely love actions because they do really two things. Number one, they save you time. Now, we can take 10 minutes to make an action. And think of an action as a series of instructions or steps performed by Photoshop by us once and then applied to other images as many as we want, as many times as we want. I can take 10 or 15 minutes to meticulously work an action to make something go. And then I can apply it again to another image and it might take only 10 seconds. But we're not just talking about time here. I mean, it's good to save time. The other thing is consistency in quality. I mean, if I save time but lose quality, what have I won? Nothing. But if I can save time and consistently get the same results, then I've got a win-win situation going on. Actions will faithfully, without complaining, repeat a set of instructions exactly the way they were made over and over again. Go into your working folder and open up 161008.psd. These are old photographs. They're from, as you can tell, probably Egypt. And I've got thousands of these things, literally. They were slides. They were taken, uh, I hate to admit it, about 30 years ago. And they've all been digitized. Now, they all have the same basic problem. There are different problems with other ones, but we have a basic problem going on with the color. Now, this chapter is about actions, not about color correction. I am going to color correct this image, but I'm just going to do it. We are going to talk about things like curves and levels, but not in this chapter. But let's talk about fixing this image in a way that we can use it to fix other images. Now, number one, I need my actions. If you don't see them over here, you can go up to the word window on the pull-down menu and go down to Actions right here. Now, there they are, or at least there are mine. You will see, if you've never been here before, default actions. And if you open it up, you've got vignettes and wood frame and cast shadow and all kinds of things that the good people at Adobe made for us. We want to make our own actions. Now, I've got my own that I work with. Let's create a whole new set to put our personal actions in. And we start by clicking this button right here. Now let's call the set Egypt. Click OK. Let me go ahead and bring this down a little bit more. Now to make an action, we have to perform the steps that we think are necessary to make it work. And we have to do them as fast or as slow as we want. I mean, the action doesn't record the time we spend doing it. It just records what we did. So if we want to start an action, we click this button right here. We'll call this one color correction, one, because you might have more than one. Now, we are going to put it in the Egypt set. You could put it anywhere you want, and you can move it later if you want to. It's no big deal. The function key, well, you can actually say on F1, perform color correction one, or on Shift F1, or I'm on a Mac, so it says Command here. If you're on Windows, it'll say Control, like Control F1. It's up to you. We'll leave that off. You can also color code them if you want to. The red ones are for color correction. The orange ones are for conversion to grayscale. Up to you. We'll leave that alone, too. Now, we turn on the tape recorder. Now that the tape recorder is on, it's waiting for me to do something so it can record it. Now, what I'm going to do is let's collapse this out for now. I'm going to go into my adjustments. I'm going to click this one right here, which is called Curves. We will be talking about curves in another chapter. But I want to see if I can use curves to fix this image. So I'm going to use something called the gray scale or mid-tone eyedropper right here. Now what that does is it will neutralize colors in an area. Now think of this image as having a cast because of age. And the cast or the color can be corrected if I can click somewhere that used to have no color at all to it. Like a neutral area of rock or dirt, something like that. Not trees, not grass, not colorful clothes on people. Maybe somewhere just in around here. And if I click, it changes the image. Now we can try a couple of different areas, see what we like. Most of them are going to stay about the same because most of this up here is very neutral. So I can click in a lot of different places and that's about it. I can turn it on and off to see it right over here. I kind of like that except it's too dark. So I'm going to come over here and click right here. Again, we'll talk more about curves later. And I'm going to use my up arrow key, and I'm going to lighten that bad boy up. I like it. Now we can check it out again over here. 
quite a difference. I think I'm kind of happy with that. The grass areas in the front are kind of green again. The clothes on the tourists, with all their nice little hats on, are kind of in color again. The sky is blue. I'm happy. So I don't need to do anything else. The action is still waiting for me to do something. I'm going to collapse out properties. Let's go back into actions. Turn off the tape recorder by clicking here. We have just made our first action. Let me scroll this down a little bit. Here it is right here. Color correction one. We make an adjustment. We set the current adjustment. We hide show layer. We hide show layer. And you say, we didn't need to do those, Andy. You just did that to look. There are two ways here that we can control whether an action piece activates. Number one, we don't need show hide. So I can click here and say, don't use them. Now, if I do that, what I'm saying to the computer is, I might want to use them later, but in this action, I think I'm going to turn them off. So I would do that here for these two and these two. Another way might be to select this one. Let's go ahead and shift click on this one, select both, and just delete them. We don't need them. Sure you want to do that? Yeah. Let's do the same thing with these two. Don't need those either. Understand what's happening. It records everything you do. Earlier actions, I mean years ago, didn't do what actions do today. You can almost record everything. Those things I don't need. Okay, so we make an adjustment, we set, and we set. That's it. That's all we had. Now, you can open these things up if you want to look at them. It tells you exactly what you did. If we collapse that out, we have a color correction one action. If you're going to use it more than once, it makes sense to make an action. If it's a one-off, why would you make an action for something you're only going to do one time? But we've got our action. It is saved automatically, and that's about it for this lesson.